So yeah, the title says it. I might buy FL Studio, and it's a total waste of money because I have Logic Pro, Omnisphere, like big plugins that I don't even use anymore. And I wasted so much money, more than thousands of dollars, and vocal plugins and other cool plugins from like this website called Waves. And yeah, so first. I'm still doing fitness. I'm still working out. The goal is to get a aesthetic body, you know, a nice body. But my brain really loves to start thinking about music, 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 because I've been doing it for a long time. And these past few, for like almost a year, like nine, eight months, I stopped. Actually, let's say six, seven. Once I stop, it's so hard to not think about it because music is like a perfect field in my area but my voice sucks so here's the reason why i want fl studio the tutorials on youtube is insane literally like anything i could get i feel like if i either mixing even though i don't like mixing and mastering all that stuff i feel like i'll have way more video options and what to do on fl studio because everyone on youtube there's a tutorial for it like for example like when i want to sound like someone like vocal wise or how to mix there will be good amount of logic pro because there's a good amount but like fl studios crazy amount and i think it's more user friendly because everyone seems to have windows even though i think apple's gonna take over i'm more of an apple person i honestly like the display of logic pro but there's a bunch of underground artists i really like listening to and i want their sound and every youtuber does their preset or their vocal tutorial on FL Studio. And so it would be way more easier to follow their tutorial once I have it. And plus, I've been working full-time job. I've been saving money. I got some money to spend. I'm using one of my mom's old laptop she never uses. And I'm going to use FL Studio on there. Not going to go crazy with the plugins. I mean, honestly, I have Omnisphere. So yeah, I don't know how their stock plugins are. Moving on. There's another thing I also want to buy. And it's Ontario's Autotune. These are expensive. I was... Like 10 minutes ago, I was on the impulse of buying it. Sometimes I just splurge shit. It's like how I did with this whole music stuff. And at the end, I didn't, turns out I didn't even like it as I thought it would be. It's called Autotune Pro 11. Either I'm thinking of buying that or Autotune Artist. I heard these are one of the top Autotune plugins for, you know, artists, recording artists. Pro 11 is the most expensive. It's like 400. Artist is $100 below, but they're pretty much the same. Only difference is they don't, artist doesn't have like a graph. The reason why I'm buying these two is because there's this underground artist I want to sound like and when i was watching this youtube tutorial he had the antares plugin and he most of the stock plugins he used a lot of stock plugins fl studio it's like distortion distortion flanger and antares autotune and when he was previewing his recordings it sounded amazing so i want to try that what i'm gonna do is with autotune there's a 14 day free trial probably gonna get fl studio now and then after the 14 day free trial of autotune if i sound like shit then yeah, I'll give up again. I gave up so many times with this music stuff. And uh, I could, yeah, okay, I'll give up and focus on fitness and um, YouTube. But if I sound good, well, then I'm prioritize my time more effectively and efficiently. And I'll also buy Antares Autotune. But I definitely have to get FL Studio at this point because you need FL Studio. Well, I do because of a tutorial I saw. So yeah, still pretty much the same guy as 2017 when I graduated college, not knowing what to do. And I was like, let's do music. Buying a bunch of stuff that I didn't even need. Here we are, 2024. At least I stopped myself from buying the full autotune version. Back then, I would have 100% bought the most expensive stuff. But yeah, I'm doing a free trial link. I don't know why I don't like free trials. Just knowing that it's going to end. Yes, I find it weird. I'd rather just have it and get it over with. No, I'm going to get the free trial and let's see if I sound good on this. But you have to get FL Studio. I'm repeating myself many times. Peace out.